Okay, welcome back. We are up to, uh, what part are we up to now? Part 8 of our Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid. Uh, you'll notice I sound a little bit worse for the wear. Um, allergies are getting the better of me right now. It is uh, tree pollen season and apparently I'm allergic to something in the air. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Anyways, uh, we just rode down the cargo elevator, and uh, Miller has begun suspecting, uh, casting aspersions and suspicions towards uh, Naomi. So uh, let's get going and see what's up. All right, so uh, I just want to use a ration right now to get my health up. We've actually got a boss fight here. And, uh, even though it's not a super challenging boss fight, as I'll show you a pretty good strategy for beating said boss, um, we still catch you off guard. So, we're gonna get ready to beat Claymores. And here we go. This is Vulcan Raven Part 2. Ah, very cold. All these ravens. Ooh, look. Welcome, Cossack. Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Road, right, my friends? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. Oh, you were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. Fat jokes. <laughs> but that was no true battle. Nope, definitely wasn't. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The What's Ravens the judgment? Are a true warrior. Oh, thank you. Am I hallucinating? I need to lay off the opium. I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood oh, from the shit. east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. All right, well, You let's live get in going. Alaska, too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah. Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. Oh. It is called the ear pull. Ear pull? It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. Spiritual You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, you keep if on killing, Snake. Words. Kind of a hypocritical statement by him. Alright, so the trick to this fight is to stay at a Vulcan Raven's line of sight. And set up some uh, claymores. And basically, just have him chase you around. But th there is. Uh, one problem with this strategy, and that is uh, remembering where you place your claymores. <clears throat> and another problem too, you take too long, your rations will actually freeze in here. Come on, big boy. All right, another ration. Oh, I can't place any more now. 
Okay. There he goes. He hit one. He basically just ends up killing himself. With this strategy. So there we go. Number two. Number three. He's gonna get faster and faster. my mind detector because like, I'm starting to forget where I placed it. He just kind of waited out. Come on out. Come on, dude. I'm gonna play more, but we'll be alright. Don't hurry. We really are just letting him go. My own baton. Yeah, that's your fight. Kind of anticlimactic, but you know what? It's similar to like Just the Running Man the from Metal Gear 2, don't you think? This is my existence, which is no longer needed in this world. Yep, pretty much. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Pretty deep. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Card keys. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. Yes, you will. First time. <coughs> <I'll get it. coughs> Excuse the me. Man Again, the allergies. For your eyes. You know, Cloak and Raven, it really is isn't that bad. Why? He's basically giving us the answer to some riddles. That was not the Dharma Chief. No? It was Decoy Octopus. What? A member of Foxhound. Decoy Octopus? He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. Well, that explains a few so things. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? It's kind of gross, isn't it? Having, like, sucking somebody's blood out and using that to create a carbon copy of them? But why go to so oh. much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> why not? That is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Okay. Snake, in the natural world, there is no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. You are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. 
kill me, Snake. My spirit will be watching. kind of a bad omen, wouldn't you just say? Never gonna have peace? Oh, huh, another codec call. Snake, it's me, Master. Master? It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Naomi? So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Okay, Master. Go on, Master. Whatever you say, Miller. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. What are you getting? But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So dun, then who dun, is she really? Dun. She must be some kind of spy. Oh, a spy. Spying yes. in the ranks. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Sabotage? She's with the terrorists. I don't want to believe it either. But she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Hmm. Different group? It could la be. Le lo. Place her oh wait, arrest. they haven't revealed themselves what? yet in this game. She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out That's who she's saying, with. Boy. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. Oh yeah. What do you mean? Oh, it's deceptive, Colonel. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Don't Does this have anything. anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate The Colonel is a terrible liar. You, you have to wait, admit that. Wait a minute. He's terrible at Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. Who are you? What's your operating snake? Button? Give me some time. I don't have any time <clears throat> left for you. I've got no time. After all that, got no time at all. I have no balance. No balance at all. Hope no one's suffering from springtime allergies. These are like the worst I've had in a long time. Alright, chaff grenades. So, uh, there's a reason why we're being handed some right now. See all that? Yeah. So let's toss a chaff. Chaff! And run like hell. Run like hell. Run like hell. Run like hell. Ow! That really hurt. And that was stupid. <laughs> now I'm singing. And you're probably muting the audio. Metal Gear. Metal Gear? We've made it this far, folks. We found Metal Gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So, get used to this area. We'll be in and out of here quite a bit with the PAL key. Card keys? What? Oh, Otacon. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? Uh, I overheard well. them talking. Where are you now? 
right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. The PAL? What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that That's President not my Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. Card keys. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. What? Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Mm. Are you a hacker? Ocelot. Yep. That describes Articon. me pretty well. What are you trying to say, dude? Does it look like you can get in? You're, I don't you're know not yet. as clean cut as you seem. I'm counting on you. Well, Otacon is a hacker. Go figure. That's good information, actually. Some chat. Chat. Some famas. Another call. Snake, it's me again. Okay. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just you, got you past just the third like security level. A minute ago, he was a pretty even. careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Just keep doing it, dude. We're all counting on you. I want you to know. We're all counting. No pressure. There's some random bits of uh, ammo and things around here. So we're, we're set on stingers, which is good, because we're going to need those for the final boss fight against Metal Gear. Up the ladder. I said up the ladder, not punch the air. Up the ladder. Do what I'm telling you to do, Snake. Another call. God. Snake, I did it. You did. You got past security. You went to the bathroom Bingo. by yourself. Great. So what do you oh, got? You got past I security. accessed okay. the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. Come on. But Snake, I found something else. Found what? What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. Huh? That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Pretty, yes, pretty sneaky. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion well, system, it course. would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That but unlike sense. a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. Oh, yeah. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. That, that's dangerous. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Oh, yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. No kidding. It's the ultimate weapon. Yeah. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. <laughs> Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? Yes. I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could Colonel, delay the how much signing of, this of the START III know? treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, I think the Colonel knows more than he's letting on. The United on, States would be usual. denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. See? You changed, Colonel. You keep lying to I me, dude. I won't make any excuses. Snake, there is no excuse for you, Colonel. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually You're not my been tested, anymore. only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this on exercise. The catwalk, no they needed to get computer actual model, experimental data to back catwalk. up the simulation. What were the results on of the, the exercise? Catwalk. It looks like it, it went better than they hoped to for, but catwalk. I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be <coughs> carefully recorded. 
it was. It is. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. Do you still what? have that disc, by the way? Do you still way? have it? No. Ocelot took it from oh. me. Damn. The terrorists That's have no replaced good. the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. No. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Just want you to know, we're all counting on you. Once again, no pressure. Just want you to know, we're all counting on you. Alright, on this catwalk here, there is a soldier. He's going to come our way. kind of tough to avoid. You just have to keep him in your first person view until he gets close enough and then shoot his ass. I want to say there's another one moping around. Maybe not. Okay. Is it that? Something? Yes. So close. Good, good, good. Nope. Nothing. Another call? Really? Snake! Did you find it? No. I what? haven't found out about well, the call me when you find it. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. Which is He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial <clears throat> trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, Hostile. I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. DARPA. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear what deterrent What does DARPA theory? stand for? I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. I have no idea. Someone could probably tell me. I might just be stupid at the moment. Which is entirely possible. Alright, so I finally made it here without another uh, codec call. That was what, like three codec calls and like five minutes of gameplay? Not even. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. Okay. We can launch any time. Lunch? There's I'm still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I sit it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's Why would you kill your own comrades? The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. Mm, and probably China. mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a so new and this look a little blurry. nuclear weapon hmm. to the Chinese. I think it's just this. What do you think uh, that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Sure. Or anyway. the president's? What about president? the CTBT, that means that China and India. I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about I this see, new said the blind weapon, man pissing they'll into all the want to contact it's us. It's all coming back to me now. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. President will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox! Fox Dye! Die! It killed Octopus and the Armstech President. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Um, no, the people who Something weren't affected were the ones who made good boss fights. Blood. That's why. Or maybe it's just because this fox die was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Golukovich. Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? Spetsnaz. 
He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. Maybe we should demonstrate it. <laughs> hmm, he's a very prudent man. Wouldn't be prudent. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. Oh, I can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its good. position as a military superpower, Tastes sweet. they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Nope. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest <coughs> of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? That is one long no run on sense. He ran out of breath. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a so thousand kind of soldiers under his command. Is what you're saying, if right, we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldiers' brainwashing has started to wear off. Um, I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. Hmm. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, Metal and we're about Gear. to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? Why not? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. Huh. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Well, Once we get the DNA and the money, the world <laughs> you, will be got ours. all those spare nuclear what warheads flying around, might as well you put them to good use, right? No interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. I love it. He's, he's Russian, this supposedly, and he doesn't sound Russian at all. Outer Heaven. Outer Heaven? Big Boss's dream. But boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. No. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. We're talking an earshot of solid snake. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. <laughs> By the way, what should we do with that woman? The woman want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Ace in the hole? Meryl. She's alive. Oh, time to call Campbell. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Awesome. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the president was talking about, yeah. it can also be used to input the detonation codes. Yeah. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get That's started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What? What are you talking about? Think back the to Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Shape, shape Memory Alloy. Shape Memory Alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. Ah. So this key is actually three keys in one. That makes sense. Clever. Clever girl. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol Ooh. corresponds to a different key. Fascinating. Input the keys in order from left to right. Left what about right to room right? Temperature key. What if I do that? See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. Card keys? After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Oh, no. Damn. Of course. 
Come on, Snake, you gotta be more careful than that. fell in the drainage ditch. <sighs> Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Gotta get the key. Sneak, you've got to get that key. And we're on alert. Or we will be. Yeah. <laughs> Just run, Snake, run. Or you'll be well done. As soon as I climb on the metal gear, these guys will forget about me. how that makes them forget which is kind of funny forget forget now something that's happened every single time that I've played the game lately is uh, a rat can actually eat the car key in the drainage ditch so you have to actually uh, basically kill the rat if you can't find the guard key. Hopefully I don't have to do that because that's just annoying. Where's the card key? Where's the card key? Where's the card key? I found it. Alright, good. I've got the card key. Alright. So we'll climb back up here, and uh, I'll save real quick. Melee. Oh. You caught Snake? Yes, I did. Save it. Don't forget to save your memories of me too. Can't save memories, even on that system of yours. Memories are, memories fragile. are fragile things. After you reduce them to binary numbers and send them through the air, they're not memories anymore. I wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds and pictures. Hmm. They exist somewhere between the sounds. It's kind of a deep conversation. I don't get it. Anything can be done digitally. If that's true, why don't you go ahead and try to say what I'm thinking right now? I can't save that type of thing. You have to put it into words at least. That's right. And that's what memories are. Wordless. Wordless. I don't know about that. No matter how far data technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone. Huh. It's kind of a strange conversation. Anyway. Uh, that's going to do it for uh, for part 8 or whatever part I'm on now. Um, as you can hear, I'm really, really uh, tired and getting drained from the, uh, from the allergies. So um, I'm going to cut it here. I uh, appreciate you watching and stay tuned for the next part. We're going to be uh, taking care of the PAL keys. And then uh, we'll be fighting Metal Gear. And uh, we'll be making our escapes. So until next time, uh, thank you for watching and keep on gaming.